today we're going to be having a little bit of fun with possibly Britain's favourite snack, none other than the Humble Crisp, which we will be trying our very best to pair with what we think goes with certain wines. So we've got a white, two whites even, a rosé and a red. We actually haven't tried any of these pairings, so this is literally a stab in the dark and Hamish actually doesn't even know what half of these crisps are. No, I haven't tried half of these, so this will be a real learning experience for me. Okay, right, so I think we should kick things off. Got a white to start off with. Pairing with none other than a very vintage crisp, the Monster Munch. Actually one of my favorite crisps. We'll see. I mean, it's we'll not see. a looker, but it tastes damn good. a bit like a dog when I hear like a rustling of a crisp I will come running. So Hamish, you will never see these but look at that. Grr. Oh god. <laughs> <laughs> so these are pickled onion and when I say pickled Ooh. they are literally like like smack your cheeks together like really acidic. So that's what we thought or I thought because this guy doesn't know anything about these crisps. But I thought the acidity of the pickled onion monster munch would go quite well with the acidity of a Sauvignon Blanc from okay. the Loire Valley. So, aka the Mecca of Sauvignon Blanc, some would say. I think we should have a sip of the wine first just to oh, yeah. prepare ourselves. But, um... Great, so that was acidic. Delicious. Very lean. Oh, I hate that word lean, but okay, right, here we go. Mm. It's very good. Can confirm. Good enough. Yeah. No. It's quite an apple. I think it works. I'm gonna have to go in for another. Hang on. Mmm. They're very flavoursome though. They're very flavoursome. Mmm. They do stick to your teeth a little bit, so it's quite hard. You need to really like swirl the wine around. I don't know. I think. I think it works. Yeah, I'll give this. Yep. Success. First wine, success. Out of five though. Out of five stars, what are we giving this combination? Hmm. I think I might go with a, a four, four star. I'll we go, are off to a belter. I'll go four. I'll go four. Thank you, Walkers. That's your right, next, what have we got? Mm. We've got sweet chili and... Mm -hmm. <laughs> we have a Viognier. Which typically goes with what, English? It's aromatic, so it can go mm. with really spicy food, which is nice. So usually, like, if you're having a curry, you try and go for something like a Viognier or a Riesling. So we thought, sweet chilli, Viognier, let's give it a go. Yeah. And none other than, I think, the best sweet chilli. These are, cool. Walker's got a little bit bougie, <laughs> and on pa in pain the sensations. Get them open. Hope you give this spice. These are actually quite naughty. No, I'm good. Bottoms up! Okay, right, it's actually not as aromatic as I thought it would be actually. I don't think it's as good as the Monster Munch. Do you think I like it better? Oh look! I think it's like really, really like crisps. My um, Good, right? Mmm. Mm. No, it does, it does work. The only problem is, is whenever you have anything spicy, like it's so overpowering. So yeah. it does overtake kind of like the aftertaste, but you know what? Mm. I think it's really tasty. The only is quite rich, mm. so you kind of get a lot of like richness, which I think um, adds to this. But again, I think you get so much of that spice coming through. Probably not the best pairing in no. terms of comparing to the last one. I think perhaps. I'm going to go three, three out. Three I'd, out I'd, five. I'd probably say three. three star. I think three is a good one. Three star. We'll go with three. Yeah. On to the next. Rosé. Bougie crisps, yes? Yes. Yeah. I don't know what these are. <laughs> no. So the next selection of crisps that we have is actually something that neither of us have had. You've never had these. Mm -mm. They're... I can't even pronounce them. I can't pronounce They're fancy. It's a bit fancy. You fancy. They are hand-cooked extra virgin potato chips. Potatas fritas. And these are, they're, they're a little bit posh. We got this from Whole Foods, actually. They are pink. That's not an endorsement to you, by the way. No less. This is, I thought you of all people would be used to these crisps. You're like a, you feel like a bit of a crisp knob. Turning your nose up at a monster. So rude, so rude. And ill-informed. Well, actually, at least they look nice together. Pink and pink. Mm -hmm. Good start. So what we have here is a Bordeaux rosé. So lots of people might be used to having rosé from Provence, but there is much more to life than Provence. Da, 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 da. So this is actually probably one of our slightly 
richer rosés, which tend, means they tend to be a little bit more food friendly, um, but with such posh crisps, you know? Mm. Just, yes, you know, that's it. You have to go with the prestige and the kind of glamour of Bordeaux, and it seems fitting. Yeah. Bougie, bougie, bougie. Bougie, bougie. Right, okay. Here we are. Let's give the one a go. That's nice actually rosé. really yeah, delicious. Really good. good crunch. Ooh, premium crunch. I mean, these go really nicely together, but also like these crisps would basically go with most wine. I think red wine's gonna be the hardest, but like ready salted crisps, yeah. especially <clears throat> the premium variety that these are. I'm gonna be punching and go five out of five already. I think this is delicious because this isn't actually too flavoursome. Like it, it's got flavour. There's a little bit of salt there. You can but taste the money. But but you can, but it doesn't overwhelm anything, whereas the other ones are flavour bombs. That's really nice and sort of subtle. And I feel like you could also smash like five bags of those in a row and you'd be completely fine. And five bottles of these probably. And it costs you £15, but that's fine. Um, and it goes really nice with the rosé, because I think this is like, again, mm. really like premium rosé. I think I'm going to go four out of five just because it's quite an easy match and I'm not the challenge. Fourth and final wine. I think this is going to be the toughest test. It's mm. the red wine challenge. Next, this. Mm. Oh. Right. So, our fourth and final crisp and wine is the humble quaver. Hamish, I actually feel sorry for you that you didn't grow up with these in your lunchbox because they are literally a hallmark of British childhood. Well, I'd like to know they're actually I can't believe. I'm actually honoured to be with you when you're first trying your first flavour. This is a momentous occasion. I just want to clarify, there are crisps in Australia. We do have crisps. Just not these ones. So I did have crisps growing up, just not these. What were they like? I, just, just, I was going to say normal crisps. Crisp flavoured. No. Well, so basically, we've chosen the quavers just because they are reasonably cheesy. A lot of people like to drink cheese and red wine. As, a, people, as a classic pairing. Classic pairing. Very so we thought, so, yeah. you know, let's do classic. As we have done with most of the others, we've gone classic. Yeah. And the nice thing about Pinot as well is that it's sort of lighter in body and it's also got a bit of fruit to it as well. So it actually mm. should go really nicely with the, the cheese element. Yeah. But I mean, I think a red wine and crisp pairing, you need to go light style because anything that's really full on as a red is just going to completely overpower the crisp which would be such a shame for the humble quip mm, oh my god so good i can't even tell you that is how good mm. don't say a bad word against the quip fine they're fine mm. it's kind of ruining the fresh fruitness I'm really sad the wine's really nice Let's put it that way. And the crisps are really good, but... I don't think it's a match made in heaven. No. But like, this is not, like, if we're coming into Love Island, this is not your match. This is not your match. Oh. Fair enough. But... I think I think that is a very difficult thing to, to find something that would really, like, add to it. Mm. Because it is, again, it's, like, really flavoursome. But at the same time, it's crisps and wine, isn't it? So... But what we can all agree on is yeah. great wine, great crisps. How was your first flavour? Talk me through it. Yeah, it was fine. It was fine. It doesn't, I don't know. That is a massive understatement. For me, that's probably like a two out of five. Yeah, I mean, it's a two out of five. It wasn't completely offensive, but it did. They both kind of killed each other off in terms of the fruit went from the red and then the yeah. cheese. Yeah. Just... And now we have to go and eat a remainder of four packets of crisps and drink four bottles of wine. So the after, the after video should be good. Yeah. Maybe so, we'll report we'll back later when we've uh, had in. a better chance to try. Ching, ching. You should be banned from anywhere. <laughs> I know, like you're too much.